They say it's the highest point in Brooklyn. So you could see all the fire and the flames and all the smoke. I said, oh my God, my wife's in there. She worked on the 96th floor, but I was just hoping for the best. My daughter was two years old. A few days later, she just started screaming and crying, calling her mother. That's when it hit me. And uh, first week of January, uh, right shortly after New Year's, two police detectives rang my doorbell and you know, they told me they found a part of her. Just the upper torso. I guess I was so numb, I didn't know what to do, I didn't know what to say. We were married 10 years, and we talked about everything. She always made me see the better side of things, always. That's one of the things that I cherish the most about her. When I feel down, I go over to where she's buried at, and I talk to her about the girls. And it makes me feel good that I can go and talk to her anytime and see her anytime. The cemetery's big, so sometimes I'm driving by where she's buried, I'm like, how you doing down here? You're supposed to be on the other side of the cemetery working. When I get like that, I say, you know what? You need to go see her. So next day I come in, I go straight there and I stop. When I cross that bridge every morning, I see the city and I they just don't look the same anymore. I see that new tower and I can't see myself going there for no reason at all. Her name is Rosa Maria Feliciano. She's buried at Greenwood Cemetery, so it's ground zero for me. Hey, thanks for setting up again. Oh, you're welcome. You know you're welcome to stay anytime.